In a world where dream matches don't always live up to the hype, Kurt Angle vs. Shawn Michaels at WrestleMania 21 far surpassed it. Nearly a half hour of a hard-fought battle with Kurt Angle earning the highlight submission of his career, getting Shawn Michaels to tap out to the ankle lock. But Shawn Michaels was far from done. Four years after the spectacular encounter against Angle, HBK would find himself set for another dream match. But this wasn't a rivalry that exploded out of nowhere. And this wasn't against a superstar who looked to match Michaels move for move. At WrestleMania 25, Shawn Michaels faced a man with whom he'd crossed paths many times, The Undertaker. A matchup that would completely envelop the WWE Universe from the second it was announced. Two of WWE's longest tenured gladiators, they had engaged in battle many times before, but it had also been quite a while since they faced off one-on-one -on -one with any real stakes. Classic battles between the two during the Attitude Era saw the birth of the Hell in a Cell match, and a casket match so physical, it eventually caused Michaels to take a four-year break from action. Every time the two faced off, it was an intense collision that saw the winner just barely skate by. Sean won Hell in a Cell in the casket match at the 1998 Royal Rumble, but he never looked like the winner. At the 2007 Royal Rumble, all that was in the past. So when Undertaker and Shawn Michaels were the final two in the Rumble match, there was an awakening. The crowd roaring louder with each passing second. A back and forth clash would see Undertaker get the elimination and the Rumble victory that night, but there was unfinished business between the two. As 2009 started off, things fell into place. Undertaker failed to win the Rumble and came up short again at the Elimination Chamber, leaving him without any WrestleMania plans. That would all change when Shawn Michaels, now under the employ of JBL after a bad business decision, regained his independence and defeated JBL in a match where the winner would get the chance to end The Undertaker's WrestleMania streak. Now, Mr. WrestleMania would take on the event's undefeated phenom, and the world stood still to watch it unfold. Embracing light to counteract Undertaker's dark powers, Michaels believed himself to be the chosen one to earn that first WrestleMania victory over the dead man. Now, it's up to you to protect Undertaker's streak and take down the showstopper. Or will it be you that will be forced to rest in peace? Two of WWE's greatest icons, Shawn Michaels and The Undertaker, finally meeting under the WrestleMania lights. Michaels looked to antagonize Undertaker, hoping to fluster him into making a mistake. And if all that failed, Shawn still knew some less than honorable tactics to help keep the match in his favor. Shawn knew that if he wanted to end the streak, he would have to use every single trick in his arsenal. Undertaker would see that nothing was sacred once the bell rang.
Undertaker rushed at Sean, but Michael saw it coming and managed to move. Immediately, HBK would focus on the injured knee, knowing that the best way to beat a big man is to take away the vertical base. The second it seemed Undertaker was getting back up, Sean floored him with a huge low bridge in Zagiri to stay in control. Sean would not allow Undertaker any chance to recover. Did HBK really have the dead man's number?
things were tooth and nail to this point, with both Undertaker and Shawn Michaels seeking the win. Michaels would give himself a big opportunity when his baseball slide drop kick connected. The fans buzzed as he climbed to the top rope, anticipating his next move. Also anticipating that next move was Undertaker himself. He'd avoid Sean's daring moonsault, letting HBK hit the ground extremely hard. With both men down, Michaels pleaded with the referee not to stop the match. No injury was so bad that he couldn't continue the fight. Still begging the referee to let him fight, Michaels didn't see Undertaker sit up or get back to his feet. And this, folks, is when The Undertaker made his move. Looking for that picture-perfect dive over the top rope he'd hit so many times before. But on this night, it was not meant to be. Sean pulled the cameraman into Undertaker's path, avoiding the incoming Phenom as he torpedoed back to Earth. These were tense, tense moments. Undertaker barely moved after he landed and many were unsure if he'd be able to continue. Meanwhile, Sean was barely better off, struggling to get to his feet while shaking off his own missed moonsault. Such an anticipated matchup. Would it continue? Could it continue? Now it was Sean realizing the stakes as he got back into the ring. This was his chance. HBK could absolutely end the streak. Dragging the referee back into the ring, Michaels insisted that the match not be stopped, but instead that the official start the 10 count. Did Michaels really want a count out win? Would he be satisfied ending the streak in that fashion?
Undertaker had managed to get back into the match after many thought he was finished, and now he was looking to take Sean on a last ride. Undertaker was so determined that not even a reversal by HBK into a pin attempt could stop him, as he manhandled Michaels back to his feet, finally hitting a devastating last ride in the middle of the ring. But now it was Sean's turn to display his resiliency, beating the referee's count to kick out at two. This marquee matchup was not only living up to expectation, it was surpassing them. Undertaker would have to shake off the disappointment of the failed pin attempt and get back to showing Michaels that the darkness was stronger than the light. Undertaker was in full control. With HBK down on the mat, Undertaker would pull the straps down, signaling to everyone that the end was near. It was time for the tombstone, and everyone braced as Taker lifted Michaels back to his feet. In an instant, Sean would counter the tombstone into a miraculous DDT, once again flooring the Phenom. Michaels then went back into the corner, looking to recompose himself. Was it time to set up some sweet chin music? Michael's chance was here. Undertaker was hoping to squash Sean in the corner, sensing that Michaels was nearly finished. But pure instinct allowed Michaels to get his boot up and once again buy him some time as he planned his next attack. Undertaker was down for the moment, but looked ready to get to his feet. Knowing it was now or never, Michaels had to go for broke.
The two had stopped the other in their tracks so many times that even Undertaker seemed surprised when Shawn jumped right into his arms as he attempted a moonsault. Into the perfect position for Undertaker to connect with the legendary Tombstone Piledriver, which was more than enough to finally keep Michaels down for the three count. Oh man, I remember this. Both men just laying on the mat once the battle was finished. Michaels still rocked from the tombstone, and of course The Undertaker having somehow survived diving onto the arena floor. Undertaker runs his streak up to 17-0. As hyped up as this match was heading into WrestleMania, knowing that it not only met the expectations, but surpassed them in such a way that fans wanted to see it again, you can't tell me this isn't one of the greatest performances by both superstars at any WrestleMania. You can't.